So I don't have my PS5 with me, so I've been torturing myself by watching all the this place. footage so from he wants to finish what he started. And we'll stay to play. We have to help them. I won't have my PS5 till next week. I know there's a demo out today, but I'd be playing that. I will reclaim our world. I'm just watching this over and over again because it's like I don't know, it's like one of the best things I've ever seen. Square Enix no Kitase Yoshinori des. Atashiga series producer of Tsumer Final Fantasy VII no Sai Shinsaku Final Fantasy VII Reverse ga Sui ni 2 Gats 29 Kunchi ni Hatsba i Tashimas. Hon Saku no Story wa Shujin Kou Cloud to Sono Nakama Tachi ga Shukteki de Aru Sepiosso o Ikake Mako to Shi Nitto Garu no Soto ni Aru広大な世界へと足を生み出すところから物語が始まります。今回のステートプレイでは、このゲームの魅力を凝縮した最新のトレーラーをはじめ、特別なゲーム紹介映像をご用意しています。また重要なお知らせがありますので、ぜひ番組
cool. みなさんこんにちは。ファイナルファンタジー7リバースディレクターの浜口直樹です。トレーラーはいかがでしたでしょうか。ここからは本作がどのようなゲームなのか私から皆様にご紹介していきたいと思います。Now we're getting into the meat of it here. <clears throat> This is where we left off at the end of the first chapter. Going into a little recap here, which I like. I'm waiting, Cloud. In Final Fantasy VII Remake, Cloud and his companions triumph over destiny. Leaving the city of Midgar behind, they step out into an unfamiliar wilderness. It is here that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth begins. So we spent all the first chapter, of course, in Midgar, in the city. So now we get to expand out into the open world. The world is made up of multiple regions, all seasons. This is what we've all been waiting for. The grasslands. Can't wait to see Costa del Sol. Midgar. This is where Cloud and the gang resume their adventure. The beautiful grasslands and the swamp. Joy. We're a metropolis by the same. Do you think we're gonna get to see、uh, the sunken Galnica this time, or is that gonna be in the third one? It probably was in the third disc, right? The resort town is like the Shinra submarine that、What? sunk. Saucer stands as a gilded oasis above the dust bowl far to the south. Gold saucer. I spent so much time. The Gengaga region. Pay tribute to Zack by exploring his hometown. Or visit what remains of the local Mako reactor, the Cosmo Canyon region. Become one with the planet as you return to Red Thirteen's roots. So immersive. It's just so fleshed out and overwhelming, really. Take a trip down memory lane with Cloud and Tifa, or stop by Shinra Manor where Vincent rests in peace. Your Tiny Bronco. Extend to the high seas. There's more to do than simply walk around, however. First, let's look at World Intel. Assisting Chadley with his research will deepen his understanding of the world, allowing him to develop new materia. This research takes many forms, such as wrangling chocobos or playing with the Mooglets at their mock stools. You may also come across sanctuaries brimming with knowledge of divine entities, or lairs inhabited by fearsome, unique foes. Chadley will also enlist your help in researching mysterious art. Little callbacks to the original graphics. Each investigation is its own side story, featuring a colorful cast of characters, exciting new mini games, and ferocious creatures. Are you up for the challenge? And once you recover all the proto relics scattered throughout the world, there's no telling what new developments might be in store. I wonder if they're saving emerald and ruby weapon for the final, jobs. the final、uh, chapter. The the Probably. As a merc, Cloud will accept. As a merc, he will be catching chickens and team up with his pals to solve their troubles. The merc's most dangerous jobs: chicken wrangling. Strengthen the bonds between him and his comrades. You're frog racing. Yeah. One of these odd jobs boasts a unique side story. Some, like Johnny's questline, borrow aspects from the original FF7, while others highlight content exclusive to Rebirth. You'll find all sorts of jobs the world over. And don't worry if you leave some for later. Story progression won't affect your side hustle. Side hustle, chicken wrangling, and <laughs> cat soothing. Greatest strengths. I like that. 
while able to finish the side missions at any time. You don't jobs. not worried about missing anything, so you don't have to read guides ahead of playing the game. You can just enjoy the game. Such as 3D Brawler. And then get back to all the side quests later. I like that. Are in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth 2. The less you have to read a guide before you re play a game, the better. While still more are completely new to Rebirth. Wave Race. Oh, I'm going to play that a lot. I love Wave Race 64. It's my favorite N64 Though games. This one is not in the original, I highly suggest you check out the card game, Queen's Blood. No matter where you are in the story, it's sure to both challenge and entertain you. Enjoy collecting all the cards and building your own unique decks. He's planning to use the Black Materia, but I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra, and I'm the last. While mini-games and map exploration are a big part of Rebirth's charm, there's more to it than just that. Rebirth provides a cinematic experience, with even higher quality content and more of it than Remake. This installment follows Cloud and company after they escape Midgar, up through to their arrival at the Forgotten Capital. We've taken painstaking care to depict how the group bonds during their journey, one that ultimately decides Aerith's fate. Once you finish Rebirth, I'm sure you'll agree that no other game makes you feel quite this close to its characters. Not even him. As for the graphics, I wonder how much they're going to change her fate. Or are they going to stick pretty close? Meaning we could use to the original. I'm going to call it and say they stick pretty close to the original, but they just expand upon it post-event. Maintain a 60 FPS frame rate with performance mode. Or prioritize 4K resolution with graphics mode. I don't know about you, but I always tend to you go for the performance mode. I find that the higher frame rate, I Each character notice more than higher fidelity. Barrett shoots objects. Yuffie swings across gaps. Tifa has her grappling gun. Red can climb along walls. Kate Sith grabs and throws items. And Aerith manipulates the life stream. Whatever challenges you face, your teammates cool. will be ready to help you overcome them. I'm glad they gave Aerith something more to do that's interactive with the live stream and gives you more. to pay respect to the original FF7's tracks. It gives her like a more tangible by matching the feeling connection to it for the audience to see. Truly innovative arrangements. Like for example the following. Well, they nailed the Junon theme. That's cool. How was that? If you enjoyed what you heard, we recorded well over 400 new tracks for this game, so there's plenty more where that came from. I love the Cosmo Canyon theme, though, my God. Thank you for choosing Bronco Cruise. It just hits me. We sincerely hope you enjoyed your trip with us. Your party's bond. Better have Sid chain smoking. But through gameplay as well. Still don't see a cigarette. Choices you make throughout your adventure. Thank you will change the way your comrades feel towards Cloud. Yeah, at least I made that promise to you. These feelings affect who will join you on a date in a gold saucer. Something I'm sure many of you are excited about. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Allies who weren't available in the original FF7 can now accompany you, provided you play your cards right. Your waifu awaits. All right. Packed with many incredible sights to see and things to do. So your outing there will no doubt be a highlight of the game. Yeah. 
Already have someone who you'd like to go with? You first. Uh, Cloud? Well, we hope they feel the same way too. That's what I'm talking about. Get it, Cloud. Your companions will share a bond, not only with Cloud, but with each other as well. Your party level, a numerical expression of this bond, will increase as you overcome challenges. I'm going to accompany you. The higher this level, the more skills will become available in your character's folios, a mechanic new to rebirth. I wonder if they'll change Red 13's name to Nanaki uh, when he rejoins the party after Cosmo. Part of what makes Rebirth. I remember on subsequent replays of uh, OG game, I would uh, just name him Nanaki off the bat. So. Or even your mood. Every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands. So once you find characters that work for you, focus on tweaking their skills to match your combat needs. A lot of replayability with that. Don't be afraid to experiment. You can reset your folios at any time. Cool. I like that idea. With new characters, can you add more depth at your disposal to the combat? Remake satisfying hybrid of action combat and strategic planning has been made even more dynamic and engaging. We can't wait for you to experience all this and more in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on PlayStation. Ride right around on Kate Siv. Good, give him something to do. <laughs> I, I, he's probably the least played character in my party every time. Give him some more to do, flesh his character out a little bit more. Yeah, there is a demo and I don't have my console with me. Woe is me. この体験版では物語の重要なポイントとなるニブルヘイム事件が収録されており、クラウドやセフィロスを操作することができます。さらに、今回の体験版では発売までの間にアップデートが入り、呪能エリアの一部を探索できる追加デモが開放されます。本作